Well, I would like to talk to you today about a topic that usually people do not mention so much. Usually doctors do not talk to you about it, and this is the problem of sexual dysfunction in Parkinson's disease. Yes, there are problems. Let me talk a little about the problems, okay, because they are really frequent and many people suffer from them and even then they don't know that it's part of the disease and part of the treatment. And that's why we have to talk about it. And one of the questions that many of my patients, they come to me and they say, how do I talk to my neurologist about it? He never asks a question. Or maybe, how, how do I talk to my general practitioner? I mean, the doctor that you meet on your routine uh, medical care. And one of the problems is that many physicians didn't have the chance to study about sexual issues and how to deal with sexual issues during their training. And some of them would like to talk to you, but you know what? They are afraid. They are afraid that you do not want to talk about it. They are afraid to make you embarrassed about it. And some of them just don't have the time. They try to treat you and ask questions and, and understand your physical situation, and they just don't have the time to ask the question. So if you do have any changes in your sexual life, in your intimate life, it is important it is important to your good feeling. It is important to your quality of life. And that's why I think that you should ask the question if you do have it. Now, according to my experience as a sex therapist in the last 20 years, I can tell you that people with Parkinson actually sense changes from the very, very beginning. Sometimes even when just the symptom starts, you know, the symptom starts, you even do not know. You, you still you are not diagnosed with Parkinson and you feel some changes and you are not sure. And that's why I say that the moment you contact your doctor, ask about your intimate life. And the best way to ask it is say, I, I would like to ask you, a very intimate and personal question, can I do this? And then say, tell your doctor that you, in the last few months or in the last, few, in the last year, you have found that there are some changes in your sexual life. And ask your doctor if you can talk, talk with him about it. And maybe your doctor would like to talk to you about it. And you will find that a good conversation makes it easy. It makes you feel relaxed. You, it makes you feel understand that everybody is suffering from it. It's not only you, you know, that something is wrong with you. Because sexual par problems in Parkinson's disease affect between third to two thirds of the population. So it's a lot. And that's why you have to ask. And then maybe your doctor will not be able to answer your question correctly, or maybe he will not feel comfortable enough, but he can send you to a specialist, because there are sex therapists all around um, the United States, actually all around the world. And you can ask, there is a sexual organization in the United States, it is called ASECT, A-A-S, ECT, which is the American Association of Sex Educators, counselor, Counselors and Therapists. You can enter the internet and look for the listed members in the area where you live. And you can call them and have an appointment in case that you cannot talk to your doctors. If if you are a man, you can choose also to talk to your, your, your urologist because today urolo urologists deal with erectile dysfunction, which is a problem that many men with Parkinson uh, encounter. You might talk to your urologist also about premature ejaculation, which is also a problem affected by Parkinson disease. And you can talk to your urologist also about some of your desire problem. If you are a woman with Parkinson's disease, you can choose to talk to your gynecologist 
and just ask your gynecologist about the changes that you have sensed. For example, let's say that you suffer from, uh, from dryness, a decrease in lubrication, or changes in your desire. You can also sometimes ask your general practitioner because in the last few years, many general practitioners have been trained to answer some of the questions that regard your sexuality. So what I suggest is first choose the doctor that you feel with this person very comfortable. Decide also if you want to talk with the doctor by yourself or invite your partner to talk, come as a couple and talk together. Some people prefer to send their partner to ask the question and it is okay also. Just choose the way that makes you feel comfortable. Sometimes you will even feel more con comfortable to talk to your PD nurse and some of the PD nurse are able to listen to your problem and tell you who can answer them. Sometimes even the PD nurse will ask your physician and kind of be a, a, a person that is your way to talk about it. So never give up because this is your basic right to keep your sexual life, meaning to keep your right to be hugged, to be loved, to be touched, to be in intimate relationship and to be in sexual relationship.